Hey guys, this is Dakman back with another video. Alright guys, yesterday in my News Bites episode I did talk about the booster bundle uh, that came today. Uh, as I understand, the devs did a live stream this morning to kind of show it off. I really don't think that was completely necessary. Uh, considering we're just talking about a few styles, I'm sure it was not a very long one. I didn't bother going and looking at the replay. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and talk about that here momentarily. Uh, I do want to say... I had a couple of people mention that uh, I had forgotten or should have mentioned something about the EOG nerf. Uh, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, I did not know that they had done anything to the EOG to that degree at this point. Uh, I do not uh, get into the minutia and all the deep, deep corners uh, of the forms. And so unless it's an official post by the devs, I typically do not give it a whole lot of credence or look too deep into it. Uh, and so being kind of on the outs right now, just kind of barely staying in DCUO at the moment, waiting on the next episode, uh, I had really not noticed or known that there was something going on because I also am not getting any of the gossip either because I'm not playing. Uh, so, you know, I I'm logging on. If you saw my short the other day, uh, you saw what I'm basically doing every day. I am logging on. I am collecting my daily rewards. I am logging off. Uh, and that's, you know, I haven't been on long enough to go, hey, Dak, have you heard about? Hey, Dak, did you see? Uh, and so I, I understand there's some picture floating around. Uh, if you got me on Twitter, send me a private message with that picture. Uh, I'm definitely uh, looking into it. I'd like to know a little more about it. Uh, I did get on the forums this morning uh, and found a post that uh, I am pretty sure is probably gone by now. Uh, because as I understand, MEPS is like squashing any talk about this EOG nerf. And so, yeah, I'll come back and talk about it when I've got uh, enough ducks in a row to actually discuss it. So uh, just going to let you guys know that since a few people had already mentioned that to me. Now, uh, the booster bundle, uh, what I actually made this video for, the Neon Spiderweb Chroma Pack uh, is the big seller in here. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about the booster bundles, if you're brand new to the game, uh, this is the one loot box that I usually give somewhat of a pass to uh, because, you know, there is a random item in there that you're looking for one of a few random items possibly however they're giving you something of value uh, and that extra that item itself that random item is kind of just like a bonus now obviously uh people that are going for a certain thing will eat up a lot of money trying to get the item that they want but there's no feats involved uh, and because of that uh, and the fact that they give you something of value, I don't have near as much of a problem with the booster bundles as I do the time capsules. Now, I will say I have an issue with this booster bundle because I believe yesterday I said it was the sixth monetization method since we got our last episode. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, there might be one I'm missing somewhere, but I believe six is correct. And so, you know, to get six pass of monetization between episodes is just ridiculous to me. Uh, especially since there's a lot of the community that's getting really upset at this game. It's just bad look uh, all the way around. The optics are terrible. Not that they really care. So what you get with the booster bundle costs a thousand day break cash. Uh, of course, 900 if you're a member, uh, which is 10 bucks or nine bucks, depending on whether or not you're a member. You get 150 replay badges, 15 flawless nth metal. Uh, you get a case of ally favor. You get an nth metal detector a radar detector, proto repair bot, and then of course the booster reward box is the is the booster bundle. That's what everybody's looking for is the item. And so in this booster reward box, you get the random chance to get one of these items. Now you're going to get one item. Uh, you just don't know which one it's going to be. It could be the crappy one you don't want, or it could be the really cool one that everybody wants. You just, you don't know. So it's a booster bundle remix. Uh, that features nine new chroma packs, uh, and so you will get one of these. There's a blue neon spiderweb chroma pack, black neon spiderweb, uh, white neon spiderweb. These are also chromas. Uh, blue textured polymer chroma, uh, green textured polymer chroma, orange textured polymer chroma, purple textured polymer chroma, red textured polymer chroma, and yellow textured polymer chroma pack. And so those are the ones uh, that you're going to be getting. Now, this is the white, uh, blue, and black uh, neon spiderweb chroma packs. Now, the white one here, you can see, I'm assuming this is the white one because uh, the spiderweb in the chroma is white. Uh, that's kind of the way I'm seeing it. Uh, going here to the blue one, uh, the blue one being in the middle, 
I believe that is blue just because that kind of looks blue to me. Uh, it was really a terrible job of putting an outfit on this character to be able to see it because really it kind of looks like the black one, which I think is the one to the right. Uh, and so, yeah, could have done a little bit better on the picture here, but uh, that is what the chromas look like. And they look okay. Um, honestly, not something I would use on any character, but you know, some people would probably like that. And I'm sure there are people going to be looking for it. So scrolling down here, you get the yellow, red, and green textured polymer chroma packs. So obviously the yellow on the left, red in the middle, green on the right-hand side. And again, they look okay uh, as far as that goes. And then scrolling down here, we go to the blue, purple, and orange uh, textured polymer chroma packs. And again, th they look okay. They do exactly what they're expected to do uh, and just give you uh, that chroma. And so, yeah, that guy's right there is what's in the booster bundle. Um, not something I'm just extraordinarily excited for. Uh, just mainly, I'd probably be a little more upbeat for it if we weren't on our sixth monetization method. Since we got our last episode, um, I kind of want to see some content, uh, some effort put into the game before I think about spending any more money on it. Uh, and so uh, that's just how I feel about that. You guys could, of course, sound off on your thoughts in the comments. And guys, with that, I appreciate you watching. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video. And if you liked what you saw, head down, leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dak underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.